Hello everybody. In this video, we're going to be going over on how to find this missing side length here of this square. So, as you can see, we have a square here, which means all the side lengths are equal. And all the corners or all the angles here are right angles on the edge. And there are lines dissecting into the square here. And these lines make a right angle at this point here, okay? Furthermore, we have this side length given of 4 meters, this length given of 7 meters, this length given of 6 meters, and we're trying to find what is this length here. Alright, so where do we start? Well, let's add some more information to this, okay? So if this length is 4 meters, if we just draw a straight line down to the bottom like that, sorry it's not perfect this means that this length is also 4 meters, right? since this length and this length are the same so let's do the same thing with this 7 meter length here let's draw a line onto the other side and this side is also 7 meters Okay, so now we have more information. So, we still want to find these values here in order to see what the missing length is. So, as of right now, we don't have anything that can be any value that can be put to these two sides. So, I'm going to just give them a variable. I'm going to name this one A and this one B. We have this and how can this help us find the missing length? Well notice how inside the square it seems like we have two triangles. This one here and this one here. So these triangles look pr kind of similar, right? This It may seem like this triangle is just this one's flipped. So if that's the case, that means that these two variables would be the same, which would help us to solve our missing value. However, we can't just assume that they're the same because they look similar. We actually have to prove that they're the same values. Between these two triangles, we can see that here these lines are perpendicular so that gives us a right triangle here and here these lines are perpendicular so it gives us a right angle here sorry I said right triangle here last time I meant right angle how can we prove the congruency between these two triangles well there are laws that can help us see if two triangles are congruent so for this I'm going to use the angle side angle congruency test which basically states that imagine you have two triangles and this is just a random side the side in between two angles that are the same has to also be the same so basically two angles on the outside have to be the same and the side in the middle has to be the same well in our case here with our triangles, these two right angles are the same. And these two side values are also the same since they're just the diameter of the box of the square and the square is equal sides. So this means that our first angle and our side length match with both triangles. So we just need to prove that the last angle is congruent so in this case it will have to be this angle here between these two triangles we have to prove that these two angles are equivalent so I'm going to name this angle here I'm gonna name it X So we need to show that this angle is equal to x. So this angle is x. 
I'm going to equal it to y. And a triangle always has 180 degrees, right? So which means that 90 plus x plus y is equal to 180. So what can we do now? Well, if you see the smaller triangle here, we can look at it and notice how there's this right angle here. Since it's a right angle here, it trans it corresponds over to here. So this side is also a right angle. And this means that since the triangle is 180 degrees, this angle value is x. This is a right angle or 90 degrees. This angle has to be y. Right? So this angle is equal to y. So now let's look at another triangle, smaller triangle in between, and namely this one. So this angle is equal to y. And notice how the lines intersecting here are perpendicular, which means that we have a right angle here, a right angle of 90 degrees. And if this is an angle of y and this is a 90 degree angle, that means this remaining angle has to be x. Meaning that this is an x angle and this is an x angle. So our last check for congruency passes the test. Meaning our triangles are congruent. All right, since we just proved that these two triangles are congruent, it means that these side lengths a here and B here have to be the same, which means we can just replace our B simply as A. Oops. Okay, so now we can solve for a missing value. And I'm going to call this length, I'm going to call it S for side length. So this means that 7 plus A plus s is equal to 4 plus a plus 6. Alright, so we have a on both sides, which means it cancels out. So we, did, we don't have to know the value of a since it cancels out. So we have 7 plus s is equal to 4 plus 6. That's 10, right? So I'll subtract 7 from both sides. So S is equal to 3 meters, okay? So our side length here is 3 meters, and that's our answer. Thank you everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and see you next time. Bye.